Hi, Tom Larson here with Tech Training for Teachers. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the new layouts option in Gmail and how utilizing this new feature will allow users to create professionally branded email messages that are sure to make your audience take note. Let's get started. In Gmail, click the Compose button and then the Choose Layout icon that appears on the bottom of the Gmail toolbar. On the left-hand side of the pop-up window, choose a layout type. There are a total of 12 to choose from, with each option offering a different look and purpose. To brand your email with your own specific set of colors and logo, click the default styling link. To add your brand or school logo, click the Upload a Logo link and drag a file from your computer. You can also pick any file inside your Google Drive. Logos with transparent backgrounds are going to work best. Next, Choose your color palette. For this, choose a color close to your brand colors from the choices here. Or you can dial in the specific color by clicking the Add Custom Color button and then entering the hex value. Click Save when done. The Footer Details section will contain information you wish to appear at the bottom of your email message. I'll enter the title of my organization and street address. In the Links section, add contact and social media links. Click Add Link, then select the type of link from the drop-down option menu. I'll choose Email, and then enter my email address. Then I'll enter a link to YouTube, as well as one to my website. After saving all your links, and if you're satisfied with the layout preference modifications, click the Save Changes button. Now, you're ready to begin composing your email. You'll notice your logo appear at the top of the message. Just below it is a section reserved for a photo or graphic. To replace the current graphic with your own, click it and then choose Change Image. From here, choose any picture from your Google Photos or your computer. I'll drag and drop a photo saved on my computer. Once uploaded, crop the image and then click the Insert button. Next, title your article. Before we begin, I should admit that I've had some trouble with the text formatting. For me, every time I type the new text into this box, the formatting style seems to disappear. At first I thought that perhaps it only appears this way when composing, but after some testing I discovered that the email recipients see the same type of non-style text that is present when composing the message. Fortunately, I found a workaround. I keep a template of sorts inside Google Docs that has the exact formatting options I want to see in my Gmail message. I simply copy and paste the text over. And here's what that looks like. Copy the style text in your Google Doc, come back to your email, and select the text in the title section. Now paste in the copy text. Next, we've got the message body that includes text with varying sizes and styles, as well as a few graphics. All this will copy over. Just like before, select the text content in Google Docs and copy it. Select the filler text in Gmail and paste in the copied text. We'll also copy that graphic too. Before I bring it in though, I'll create an insertion point just above the name of my training. When that's done, copy and paste in the graphic. Repeat the steps we just discussed as many times as necessary until your email contains all the content you wish to send out. Lastly, be sure to change the address on the Sign Up button. To do this, click the button and then select the Change option. In another tab, go to your Google Calendar and click on the event you want to send invitations to. In the pop-up window, click the Three Dot Options button. Scroll down and locate the Publish Event option in the resulting window. Copy the link to the event. Come back to the tab Contain Your Email and paste in the event link. Now your email is ready to go. Simply address the message, enter the subject heading, and click Send. You of course also have the option to schedule the message to be sent later if the proposed time is more ideal. That's going to do it for today's video tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments section or shoot an email to tom at techtrainingforteachers.com. If you enjoy watching videos like this, be sure to subscribe 
and click the notification bell so you know the moment new content is posted.